Okay, eighth graders, now we're going to make an actual flow chart. But what the heck is a flow chart? This thing here is a flow chart. You start at the top and you work your way down and then you figure out whatever you need to do. This one is about a lamp. The lamp doesn't work. Check. Is it plugged in? No, if it's not plugged in, plug it in. Try the lamp again. If it is plugged in, yes. You, your next question is, is the bulb burnt out? Check the bulb. If it's yes, then replace the bulb and then your lamp will work. If the bulb is not burnt out, then no, you move to repairing the lamp. So you start at the very top and you work your way down. Here's another flow chart example. Does the computer turn on? This is what all IT guys job is. Asking questions that you probably already did, but they just want to make sure. Is the headphone jack working? Is the volume turned up? Do you have your audio output, output as whatever you want it to be? So this one is about a computer. Is it turned on? No. Is the computer power light on? No, it's not. Then check the computer cord. Or does the computer turn on? No, it doesn't. Is the computer power light on? Yes, it is. Then turn the computer monitor on. Does the computer turn on? Yes, it does. Are there any error messages? No. Then your computer's fine. Does the computer turn on? Yep. Are there error messages? Yes. And then perform a search for the error message. Last one. I love this one. Are you happy? Yes, no. Do you want to be happy? Yes, no. Change something. Or keep doing whatever you're doing. And this is, can be circular or you can, t can continue to start at the top. And then to check out this next one. All right, so in your notebook, I want you to write this. Does it take up space and have mass? Then it is matter. We know there are two different types of matter. There are mixtures or there are pure substances. And then we know that each of those also have two more kinds of each. So draw this. And you will need a green pencil and a red pencil too. So go, go pause the video and do that now. Does it take up space and have mass? Yes, it's matter. Can it be separated? No, if it can't be separated, then it's going to be a pure substance. If it can be separated, it's a mixture. And then from there on, you have another question. So a pure substance, is it found on the periodic table? If it's a mixture, is it identical throughout? Okay, now you're going to write yes and no on these. Does it take up space and have mass? Yes. It's matter. Can it be separated? Yes, it can be. It's a mixture. Is it identical throughout? Yes, it is. And then what do you think this word is? Starting at the top again. Does it take up space and have mass? Yes, it does. It's matter. Can it be separated? No, it's a pure substance. Is it found on the periodic table? No, it's not. So what do you think these words are? Make yours look like mine and try to figure out what those four words are. Did you get it right? If it is identical, it's the same. So it is homogeneous. If it is not identical, if it's different, then it is heterogeneous. If it's a pure substance and it's not found on the periodic table, it's a compound. If it can be found on the periodic table, it's an element. All right, take this sheet of paper, tape it or glue it in your notebook and go through each of these materials and figure out whether it's a mixture or a pure substance. And then from there, you're going to go to the bottom two. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? Or is it element or compound? Let's do the first one together. 
aluminum foil. Is that matter? Yes, it takes up space and it has mass. Can it be separated? I would say no. So then it's a pure substance. So I write pure substance. And then from there, is aluminum foil found on the periodic table? No. So it's a compound. Next one, air. Does air take up space and have mass? Yes, it does. It's matter. Move down. Can it be separated? Yes, it can be. So that means it's a mixture. Can is the air identical throughout? No, it's not. It's heterogeneous. Okay, complete this all the way through. Find a friend if you want to work with someone.